All right, we're in Lyurnia, just chilling. We're gonna do one more boss here, I think, and then we're gonna do Volcano Manor. I'm kind of debating how I want to do Altus. Because usually I just like, I do Volcano Manor and then I do like two other bosses and then I go do Redon. I don't know if I want to do that. But I don't, I don't know. Just trying to think about like what's optimal. I guess I don't really know what's optimal. I usually just go do Radon because um I want to get Kayla done. Even though I don't finish until like the end of the run. Where's this Grace? But we could just do like could do Altus and then chill there for a while. I I don't know. I gotta you gotta think about it. And we got some time, because this run is just, like, insanely slow. Considering the, uh, the low amount of damage. We got a bunch of bleed errors now. Got like 40 or so. 400, I mean, not 40. 40 is nothing. Actually, let me level up. Can I even level up? I can. All right, so we're pretty much going to go dex, I think, till 60, and then I'm going to probably do mind after that, because vigor and endurance are at the caps, essentially. Yeah, I think I'm going to do Windham Catacombs before that Tibia Mariner and Altus. Because I didn't realize it, but the, the entrance to the Catacombs is, like, right next to the Grace I sit at. And then I can go down and do the Tibia Mariner. And then from there, I think I can go to the uh, Urtree Gazing Hill Grace and do the Lux Ruins and Godefroy. Which is why I'm thinking maybe I do that stuff before going to Radon, but I just don't know, like, where do I stop it, you know? Like, we could do all of Altus, get to the point where we need to go underground and then go do Radon. But I don't know, it's like, you can kind of do it whenever. It's no real reason to not do it. But if we're already, like, at that grace, I think it's more optimal to do... Gillica and then go for it, but I don't know. Or a new controller. What kind of controller, Cabo? What'd you get? One for the collection? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Where'd this omen come from? How many of them are there here? I am so lost. Is Do I even have to go down here? Did I go the wrong way? I feel like I went the wrong way. No, nope, just a memory of grace. Oh my god, stop it. Elite Series 2. Uh, how the hell do I get to the boss? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I thought this was a different... Dungeon. I ended up confused for a different one. have on for arrows right now. Poison and normal arrows, okay. Let's see if we can poison these guys. I feel like you probably can. 
But maybe. You can poison crystallians. Why can't you poison... Cat, dogs, things, statues. Not poisoned yet. Doesn't look promising. You probably can, but I'm just gonna keep trying. Nope, no poison. And I will forget the next time I have to do this run, or you know, another bow run. Probably. And then the Wind of Mechanical MC, we can also get the, uh, the cookbook. I don't know where it is, but I'm sure we'll find it for lightning arrows. Oops. Yeah, if we go to Altus, then we're not going to come back to Lyurnia for a while, though. I don't think about that. Not that it matters. I guess after, maybe after, like, the Shaded Castle. Then we can go, we can go to, uh, Kaelid. I think that'd be a good stopping point for Altus. And then we'll come back to it later. But I think what I'll do is I'll do... We'll do the Noble and the Virgin duo, and then we'll do Wyndham Catacombs, Timmy Mariner, do Lux Ruins, and Goad for right, and then we'll go do the Stone Digger Troll in the Tunnel, and then the Shaded Castle, because that's kind of like that's like a good endpoint. Then we can go do Radon. Do Radon, do a couple other things in Kaelid, and then go back to Liurnia, and then eventually we'll get back to Altus. It's gonna be so interesting to see how this run looks at like the end of all of this, right? Like all, with all these tiny optimizations over like, you know, 300 runs. Because it's come a long way. I guess I didn't really need to heal there. I'll switch arrows on the elevator. Bleed and poison for the noble, I would say. Poison, bleed. Yeah, we've got 450 more or less bleed arrows, so that's good. Good for a while.
I was pretty much just floating for a second there. Hit mm. me. Nope, don't grab. Hit me. Hit me with a wheel. Okay, don't hit me that much. Thank you. I'm so jealous of anyone that found this just accidentally. Because I remember hearing Patches. I, I met him in... Uh, where, it's like somewhere in the area, wherever he is. And he tells you about this. Um, so I knew about it. I didn't really... Like, I never went down there. Because I didn't even know you could go down there. Um... But imagine just, like, not even having been told by Patches about it, and then just accidentally, like, stumbling upon it. Just being like, what the hell is this? And then you look at the map, and you're like, whoa. <laughs> Except, of course, you can't see, like, you know, past probably, like, here, right? Can't see all the mountaintops. Those are, I think, some of the coolest moments. They're like, when you saw Langdell, you got warped there. Or Kaelid, if you got warped there, and just like seeing how much more the map expands. Already poisoned, wow, that was very quick. Uh, okay, I guess we're just gonna keep doing this attack. Dude, you just did this. Alright, so Dr. Virgin Dio, what do you think? You think they can bleed? I don't think they can bleed. I feel like they won't be able to. I don't even know if you can poison them. I'm gonna not do bleed arrows for them.
wonder if they're ever going to, like, change the fact that you can run through lava in NG+. Like, this would just slow you down if you're doing a, a fresh playthrough. It's such a weird thing, too. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It feels like a bug. But I don't know if it is a bug. It might be intentional. It feels like a weird thing to be a Like, oh, I don't know why it would be a bug. But it's super nice, not gonna lie, especially for these runs. Imagine if the Lake Rob was that slow, though. That would be nightmare. Speaking of nightmares, this fight is one. Yeah, we'll see if we can poison these things. Yet. I am stuck. You can stagger them. That's cool. No poison, though. The range is super nice, though, until, you know, they close in on you anyway. And I guess you don't really have range at that point. Yeah, I feel like poison isn't going to be a thing here. Keep trying, though. The light roll is super nice for this fight, though. No poison. Not surprising. Random catacombs. Yeah, the entrance is like right there. And for some reason, I would always just do the Tibia Mariner first. And then you have to like run all the way around to get back to the entrance. So we're just going to do the uh, catacombs first. Got to level up here too. Once we get in there. I want to see if I can find that cookbook. I, I don't know where it is, though. That's the issue. And I don't want to go super far out of the way. So hopefully it's just, like, on the path there. I think there's a stone sword key door here, though. I don't even know if I'm going to use lightning arrows. I would just like to have the option to get them. I want them. But I highly doubt I'm going to need them. Let's see. You are a lightning arrow cookbook. Where would you be? Probably not there. Somewhere to the left. This is like the only lightning themed dungeon, I think. If you even want to call it lightning themed, it's a weird way to describe it. Maybe it's up there. Nope. Alright, well, so much for that. There's nothing down here, right? Just a bottomless pit. 
It's not a very big dungeon either. There's a stone sword key door. I thought it was around here, but maybe it's after this. I leveled up, right? Oh, wow, I need 4k. Any items to pick up? It might be in there, too. Possible. I don't see anything here. I think, Gaster, this is where the cookbook, or where the stone sword key door is. I don't know if it's in there or not. It could be. I don't really want to use a stone sword key, though. Just for that. I'm going to run under this, I think, after, uh... After getting this. Not in here. Please stop. Go down, go down. It's gotta be in here, right? If it's not in here, it's in the uh, stone sword key room. It's gotta be this. That's it. Get me out! I'm assuming that's it. And we need, what, Fulgur Bloom? Which I have none of, so... It's not like we're gonna make it anytime soon, but we can make it. I don't really know what lightning's gonna be good against, though. We cannot poison these guys, so I'll just use normal arrows. That Tibian Mariner is going to be insanely tanky, too. Yo, use the flask, not the physic. Mushroom there. All right, Timmy Mariner, Mr. Boatman. Dude, uh, holy arrows. We still have a bunch of these. I bought these like. At the beginning of NG Plus, or like right before we hopped into New Game Plus, I still have like, I don't know, whatever it was, like 200 and something. How did I, I, I'm not even moving. Neither of us are moving. How do you miss that shot? You would think holy damage would deal more to these guys. It does not. Dude, 
there's so many of them. I'm gonna go through all these arrows probably. Try to kill this stupid guy. I don't even know what I'm getting hit by. is he doing? He's moving uh, up there, probably. Past halfway, I have 60. I've used 60 only arrows, over 60. 70 now. Oh, poison. I don't want poison. I don't think these guys can be poisoned. It'd be great if you could, like, hit the TV mirror. That'd be incredible. Probably the longest Tibby Mariner fight I've ever had. Till I rest. What is the damage per hit? I haven't really been paying attention. I know it's not good. Not even a hundred. Get me out. What a miserable experience. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think much of the light bows are better than this one. This one's definitely the worst. It's got like the worst uh, base damage at max level, but not by much. Like it's it's really not as bad as it's like it's not significantly worse than the other ones, at least from what I could see. All right, what do we want for Gilica? Bleed, I guess. I kind of want to say bleed for goad for it because we're gonna probably need him. So maybe poison. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do that. Poison because she doesn't have a ton of health. I actually found a new way to get up there too. I just don't remember it. I have to like climb these walls or something. It's over here. Trying to remember exactly where it was that I was doing. Up oh, this. It was like super simple and it takes you right to where she is. But I can't remember where it was. It was just up this rock. I think it was just up the rock, actually. <laughs> and then she's right here.
poisoned. Yes. She's wild. I usually don't see this much. I mean, I fought her in New Game too because I got the Mitchell Sword Talisman, but. Usually she's dead in like a couple hits. I figure we do goad for Ray. And then the reason I'm gonna do the Shaded Castle first is because I'm gonna work right back to this grace after this boss. And then after that we'll go do Redon. We'll do we gotta do Caleb Catacombs, then we're done. That is not the right way. That is death. Okay, the catacombs are done, then War Dead. War Dead is going to take probably a while. The boss there, I should say. Because that's like worse than Dragon Barrow scaling. And the last time I did an ulcerated tree spirit, it took a while. So this one's going to be like, you know, much more tanky. Although I am curious how much more tanky. Definitely more tanky, though. Oh my god, that deflects the whole time? I thought I had a moment there where I could have hit him. But apparently that wall is just there during the whole attack. Which is news to me. Attack, huh? I don't think you can shoot through like the second and third uh, wave there. Like here? Yeah, it just bounces. Which is annoying. He's literally doing two attacks that one and uh, this one. That's all I've seen. Oh, something different. Wow. Oh, I was actually way closer than I thought it would be. I like how the stone imp statue is like right in the middle of this fight. It's kind of funny. I'm kind of surprised Godric doesn't have more axes, to be honest. Only two? Sorry, Goad for a... But probably also Godric. Dude, what is this? I've never seen this. I'm gonna bleed. Please.
He's pretty much just spammed two attacks the entire time. Stone Digger Troll, and then Shaded Castle. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get through Altus today. Which, you know, I didn't really know how far we would get today. But, um, it's alright. I don't think we're going to finish on Monday either. Says there's just too much left to do, and this run is so slow. And the thing is, I don't feel like I've played poorly at all. It's just, you know, that's what happens when your damage is bad. Runs just take longer. Really, like, only one death I can remember was the XX one. Like, I've had more deaths, just, like, nothing to boss fights. I mean, there's probably been, like, one or two more, but not very many. Welcome back, Kabo. Hope your lunch was excellent. I should have got fire arrows for this one. Do I have any? Nope. Yo, yo, chill. Chill out. Nice bowl of soup? Kind of soup. Sounds good. Unless it's the bad kind of soup. I don't know what that would be, but... Evil suit. Ah, uh, I don't really want to bleed him. Chicken noodle? Solid. Alright, bleed. Can he bleed? Does this guy have blood? Probably. There we go. That's a bleed. I don't think we're going to get two bleeds, though. Dude, this attack is a little much, I think. This man is crazy! Another bleed. Nice. That fire attack is so pointless. <laughs> he just shoots over your head. What? That's literally the entire room. How are you supposed to dodge that? on the agenda for the weekend? Uh, you know, I don't really know, to be honest. I don't have any plans this weekend. I mean, I gotta do, you know, YouTube stuff, but kind of just doing that every day. It's not, like, too intense or anything. But yeah, Sundays are definitely more open. Now without football.
Oh, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, there we go. Never mind. All good. Might start bringing Saturday streams back next week, too. I want to do like a Dragonation. I just don't know if I'm going to stream it yet. I'm definitely considering it, though, which means we'd be doing uh, probably two hours after like all the soul stuff in the normal stream days. Plus, you know, Saturdays would probably just be like a dragon. Although maybe maybe some soul stuff on the Saturday, too. We'll see. The thing is, that game is going to probably take a long time to beat. I mean, I guess it's going to be kind of the same as God of War. It's probably like, you know, God of War was 80 hours, I think, ultimately. It took me a month to get through. It's actually out today if you bought the deluxe edition. I, I'm not a big fan of this trend of buying deluxe edition of games and getting early access. I don't know. It just... Kind of rubs me the wrong way. It's just weird. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily want it to become like the new norm, you know? Did I get the grace? Oh, I don't know if I did or not. Too late now. There's a stake of Merrick, actually. It doesn't matter. Oh. I am not. This is not good. Not playing well. I guess it's, like, not really a bad thing if there's, like, other things that come with it. Right? Because you're paying for those things, too. But, like, it, let's say you get to a situation where you're just paying for early access. Like, that's kind of... I don't know. I don't like that. Oh, yeah. He has this crazy, crazy attack I never see from any of the other Bell Bearing Hunters. I'm pretty sure it's, like, exclusive to this guy. Because I only see him do it. Bleeds. Can this guy bleed? I, I actually don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if he bled already or not. Because if not, I'm wasting my time. Nope, oh, there's a bleed. Saving my arrows. All right, all the way back down here. Oh, the cemetery shade. Oh, it's not the annoying cemetery shade, at least. 
where am I going? That's not the right way. It's literally the exact wrong way. Okay, no, I'm just lost. Where am I going? This way? This way. Oops. Oh, something died. Wasn't me. So for this guy, probably just normal arrows. Actually, holy might work. And then we'll bleed Radon and poison him. I'm gonna get drunk in VR chat. I've never, uh, never done VR chat. Is that basically just like literally what the name is? Like a chat room, but in VR or something. Here we go. This damage is bad. And I feel bad. That hit him? Like, backed up into that one. I was hoping that wasn't going to stagger him. Oh, holy lunge. This boss is so weird. Sometimes he just is, like, so idle, and then other times he's just hyper-aggressive. Different avatars you can wear. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'd like to do VR. Not, not necessarily even stream, but just, like, play, like, VR something. I You know what I really want to see? I want to see VR Outer Wilds. I've heard that is terrifying. I think there is a VR mod for it. It's got to be pretty, like, spooky, though. You know, being in space in VR, I imagine. But, like, some of the things, some of the situations you can get into that game, like flying into the sun, or probably are a little unsettling in VR. There's a lot of games you can play. Like real games or, or uh, like VR chat games? Okay, well, we're done. One shot me this time, luckily. Oops, rest. Poison and bleed. Champions, welcome. The stars have aligned. The best, I the 
We're ready. Before we. But now. Oh, mini golf. Oh, that's cool. I always loved mini golf. Plus, you have the uh, the advantage of being able to build any mini golf course you want in a game. Why can I not use Torrent here? Half-Life VR? I still have to play Half-Life. I, I, like, I think I got, like, two hours into it and I just stopped playing. Not out of lack of interest or anything, but... I was probably, like, playing something else at the time. And then just stops for whatever reason. Ow. Favorite shooters of all time, oh yeah? I play three any day now. be just like even if it did there there's no way i could live up to like any expectations anyone has for the game it's probably like the most memed upon sequel or yet to be released sequel or you know, maybe sequel's not the right word because i think that's just like two but you know what i mean I'm, oh he missed the slam somehow I don't know if it would have killed me anyways, to be honest. Might. Oh, nice bleed. Okay, so that was like the one boss we didn't really get to hear the whole soundtrack for. I don't know why he went down so quickly. VR game is the closest. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I mean, maybe they do another another VR game for it or something, but who knows? It would just be so different, too, you know? I, it makes more sense to just do, like, a reboot, honestly. Which is probably what they would do. Kind of like how Doom did a reboot. It's Doom 4, but it's, you know, just it was just called Doom. Same with God of War. They didn't call it God of War 4, they just called it God of War. But it really is, like, God of War 4. It would have to be something like that. And it would probably be a completely different experience. With a lot of similarities, just, you know, we're in 2023.
War Dead Catacombs. This one's gonna take a bit, I think. I think we can bleed the the dude. We'll probably have to get more bleed arrows after this too. Hopefully poison him too. That'd be nice. This thing's gonna be tanky as hell. Stagger him or something. There's a there's a big shift in technology for them to make three. Okay. There would have to be a big shift, yeah. What's AR? Augmented reality? Actual reality. It's real. We put you in the game. If you die in the game, you die in real life. That would be hard to sell, I think. Can you even rot this thing? Or poison him, I mean. Wait, yes. I think you can bleed it, too. Uh -oh. There we go. Stop. Let me bleed you. Oh, now they're staggering. Nice. I can't I can't target the head. I don't leave him. Explosion. How? Please explain. So I don't agree with that. Don't you be wanted the first Metal Gear game to self destruct if you died? That is. <laughs> that is. something else. <laughs> for game sales, I guess, if, you know, people actually were okay with that. Imagine if that's the world we lived in. You would never finish a game. Alright, so that's done. Uh, I guess we're gonna go back to Liurnia, then. Uh, where are we going, though? Can't remember. South Ray of the Carnage Gates. Nighttime? I think it looks like nighttime to me. But I'll make sure.
It's too foggy. I can't see where I need to jump. Yeah, they probably weren't cheap either back then. Accounting for inflation, games are pretty cheap compared to what they used to be. But they also sell way more of them now. Although they're going up in price. $70 now for, like, a lot of triple games, which I'm, you know, I guess it's not surprising. I'm more surprised it took them so long to increase the prices. I don't think they were. Well, maybe, but like with inflation, that's like way more, you know? Like if they're $60 back then, even 40 back then. I'm getting on torn for this. This could be a bad idea. Yo, camera! Like, we've had $60 games for... I don't know, since, like, the... What? Xbox 360, PS3 days? So, like, almost two decades. Sixty bucks for NES games? Yeah, so today that'd be worth, you know, a lot more. Like inflation just never hit the game industry. Probably hit consoles more than more than games. Bad idea. I don't think I've ever seen the Death Raid bird teleport away like that. I mean, it didn't teleport away because it wanted to. I wish you didn't sell your games in console collection. Just to have them or just to, like, play them again? I never can remember how to get to it from this side. I have to, like, go from the grace. That should be, like, right here. It's all going to pay for school. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, boy. Here we go. Take a while. Probably can't poison this thing. I would like to be able to move. I would like to be able to move. Can I do that, please? Thank you. Getting there. Oh. 
This thing only knows how to spit poison, I swear to God. Hey, what? Did it poison itself? <laughs> I don't know what hit it. I don't know what finished it off. Okay, really? Yeah, it'd be interesting to to find out what that stuff's worth. Maybe not if you had it, but, you know, it's like a... Because then, you know, it's like what could have been or whatever situation. Let's level up some more decks. I don't even know what to use for Loretta. Probably just regular arrows. I'm gonna use these, actually. I'm starting to run out of things. And I wanna go farm more Blood Rose, too. 500? Oof. It's crazy, too, because, like, you don't know what's going to be worth things in the future, right? You don't know what things are going to be worth keeping. So it's super easy to just, you know, toss something out. All these collector's editions, uh, anything, really. Statues, games, whatever, you name it. Give it, like, 20 years. Things can be worth a lot. Or they could be worth nothing, you know? I think it really depends on the franchise that, you know, things are associated with. Like, obviously, Final Fantasy is a big one. How big was Final Fantasy, like, back then, though? Because, like, like, honestly, I have no clue. I guess maybe Japan is probably pretty big. But I can't imagine it was, you know, anywhere near what it is today. Crappy games sell well because no one bought them. True. Was it big in America, though? Because, like, I can understand it being big in Japan. I just, you know, I wasn't... I don't even know what the first Final Fantasy game came like that came out like when I was alive would have been. I don't really know their release dates. Yeah, we're just gonna use regular arrows, I think, for Loretta. Oh, well, she's tanky. Well, you know, it's more again. Everything else, just, or no, rather the bow does no damage. Everything feels tanky. Our Final Fantasy three was six? Oh, really? Huh. Good no doubt.
Final Fantasy 2 is for... Basically, they just like the double numbers in Japan. That's what I'm getting from this. They counted multiples of two. Yeah, dude, if this was, like, any other run, well, if this was, like, the Uchi run or the, what was the other one? Bloodhound Claws? Maybe, like, at the end, probably. Of, uh, that run, or near the end. Meanwhile, we still got, like, many, many hours left. I don't know how many, but I know many. Yeah, let's do the, uh... Ever jail? I should I should sit down. I want to do the ever jail? Talk to Ronnie, do whole her whole thing, and then I want to go and uh, get more blood rose, probably, and more arrows. How many bleed arrows do we have? Yeah, ninety one. Definitely need more. Get more poison arrows. I kind of need more of like everything. Honestly. Even bone arrows are getting low. Final Fantasy 1 was on NES. That was also in Japan. The Final Fantasy 2 and 3 in SNES. And the next one was 7? Really? Oh, okay. I didn't know that. What about 4, 5, and 6? Boy, that's confusing. Did they, like, rename some of them? So, like, they renamed three? Like, the original three is now six? Or was three, three? I mean, that is incredibly confusing. Poison? Poison. Oh, input reading. Favorite. American Final Fantasy 2 is 4 in Japan. So, but then you said 7 was the next one, right? So they have they have 4, 5, and 6. Are those just, like, completely different games? I, like, it's so confusing. <laughs> like, what what is Final Fantasy 6 right now? That's not the old 3, that's just... Just like another six or something? I, I'm super confused. Very crazy system.
All right, Ronnie. I found you. So we we met each other. Oh, I guess I didn't finish the conversation. That's cold. She doesn't remember me. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. I had to do. Uh, I had to do Radon before I did this. Kind of forgot about that. Oof. I wonder if you can get crushed by that elevator somehow. You probably can you? I feel like you could. No, maybe not. Because there's the platforms underneath the elevator you can stand on, but I think they were lowered enough that you wouldn't get crushed. Alright, let's see. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go and get more Blood Rose. 